Okay, let's add a start and stop button in Adobe Animate. And let's give ourselves a little more than two seconds. We'll do insert frame. Uh, we'll create it. We're going to need a button layer, so we'll name it, give that our name, our button area, our button. And we'll call this our motion tween. And let's create one more layer. Okay. And we'll call that one our action script layer. Okay, so let's start with our buttons. Now we'll go in and do to uh, create our, our box. Um, let's do green for go. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and select that. We'll do right click and see if we can convert to symbol down here at the very bottom. And even though it's going to be a button, let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and name that our start button. And let's go ahead and go back to our I want to change the shape. Change this to red. All right, and we'll say this is our stop button. So let's right click, convert to symbol, movie clip, and stop button. Okay, and okay, we got our start and stop buttons here. All right, now let's go into our motion tween and, and give ourselves something that we can do some motion with. And we'll change this to orange. And let's create a circle. And let's do right click, create motion tween. And it wants to create it a symbol. Okay, so now let's go to our first frame. And um, I'm just going to nudge it to, to give it a keyframe. And we'll move it down here. Oops, sorry. Let's go to our, uh, move our playback and then move it. And that's on our last frame. Uh, we'll give it a bit of a curve. Okay. Now we need to go in and add some code to our action script layer. So let's see. I got some code already set up and we'll go ahead and select our code here. I want to copy and paste that, which I already have done. Okay. Paste that. And so we can see we have a play button and a stop button. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Um, we've got our, our function start move, um, a click event that will have our start move function. And then it tells it to, in here, it tells it to play. And then the same thing with here for our stop, although we have a different function. And it tells it to stop. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's name our buttons. So this is our start button and that was named play button. And I believe this one, I'm gonna put this in the instance, I don't believe that one was called stop button, BTN. Name that in our instances and let's do a control test and see if it works. and it's, it's playing. So, and the reason it's playing is because we don't have a stop put in on our first frame. So it's just gonna automatically play. So let's put a stop, so stop, parentheses, semicolon, 
Okay. In our action script file, and now let's do a test. And there's our start. Now let's see if our stop button. Yep, so there's our stop and it works. Yep. Start, stop, start, stop. Okay, so that's a start, stop button.